Okay guys, so we are going to get ready to do our experiment. Now keep in mind, this is a bonus assignment. So that means this part is optional. I wouldn't want to miss out, but this part is bonus. So to start you out, you are going to need seven paper towels. Okay, now mine are those little half sizes just because that's what paper towels I have. So if you have regular size one, just be sure you cut it in half before we get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take my paper towel. I then am going to have a pair of scissors. I have seven clear cups. Um, I tried using short little cups earlier and it took a really, really, really long time for the experiment to work. So you may wanna try using a taller cup like this or even like one of your glasses at home, okay? And then you're going to need some food coloring. You're gonna need the primary color since we've been talking about color today. Red, yellow, and blue. Now, the last thing you're gonna need is some water. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna fill up the first, third, fifth, and the last. I'm gonna go every other. And I'm gonna fill it up almost all the way to the top. Notice I'm skipping every other cup. Now don't go all the way to the top, but almost. Now I'm gonna take a little bit off this one because I poured a little bit too much water. There we go. Keeping in mind that these three are empty. Now we have to prepare our paper towels. You have a fold of them. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your one, you're gonna fold it in half the long ways. Okay, and then fold it in half again. There we go. Now I'm gonna fold it like this so it's shorter. Fold it in half one time. Now, what I need to do next is I need to get those scissors out for me personally because if I put it next to my cup, see, it's above my cup that much. So it's gonna take so long for the water to get to the other side. So I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm just gonna trim off a little bit. Now don't go crazy, just a little bit and then sit it beside it. Okay, I can do a little bit more. Because remember, you can always do more. You can't really put any more back on there. So let's do it one more time so you can see it again. Now keep in mind, since this is a video, you can pause it whenever you want. So I'm gonna take my paper towel, fold it in half. Remember, I have seven paper towels. Fold it in half again. Fold it in half so it gets shorter. And then we're gonna take those scissors, trim it off. Okay, so now I've got my paper towels ready. I'm gonna set that up to the side. I'm gonna go to my food coloring. Now, I am going to make the rainbow today, but I am going to leave out indigo. You'll see it in a little while, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now. So I'm gonna take my red. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then I have orange, yellow, green, and blue. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm gonna go right here to my third cup. We'll do the yellow. You guess it, five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And then that last one we're wondering, I'm gonna get some blue. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Stir it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take a spoon. Stir that very gently. And I like to dunk it in a clean cup before I move to the next color so I don't accidentally get some of the stuff to the other one. Dunk it. Stir it nice and gentle. to start adding my paper towels in there. I'm going to stick them in and I want to be sure that they are nestled together. So I'm gonna stick it in here and they're nestled right there. You see it's already starting to move up the paper towel. Do you see that? Go to the next one. There 
go. Now see, they're all touching each other. So now we wait. Now, this is after 20 minutes. You can start to see where the primary colors are mixing to make your orange, your green, and your violet. You're starting to see that. Now, the longer you let it sit, the more vibrant your rainbow is going to get. So, I'm gonna just keep letting it sit and I wanna see how much brighter it will be. Now, I want you to think about why is this happening? How is it working? Well, it has to do with a lot with the paper towels. Paper towels can absorb water so well because they have these sugar molecules in them called cellulose. Paper towels are made from plants, are made from trees. So much like a tree has its roots and it soaks up the water and it gets it to the leaves to make the tree grow, that's kind of how this is working. Okay, so it's using those molecules to soak up the water and then it's pulling it up the paper towel. And then once it gets so full, then gravity takes over and it starts to move back down. 